So I've got the new Raspberry Pi Model 3. Uh, had to get a new Pi cobbler because it's got far more many pins on it than the original Pi. Um, I've got an ADS uh, 11 one five um, ADC converter and I've got a um, VC uh, NL 4000 um, proximity sensor um, I've got one of those and then I've got a it's a sharp um, this this is it's one of these um, it's a sharp oh, crikey what is it it's a sharp 2y0a21f25 so I've got a analog infrared um, distance sensor. I've got a digital proximity sensor which is accurate uh, to about two centimeters a little bit more but starts to uh, tail off in the accuracy so about two centimeters accuracy on this one and then I've got this um, infrared proximity sensor which is ooh, it's probably more accurate um, from five centimeters onwards up to maybe 25 centimeters in the zero to five centimeter range um, yeah I'll show you the the chart in a minute which agrees with what the manufacturers say so um, the Pi is running Windows 10 IOT and on IOT you get to create uh, universal Windows programs with them. So I've got a C sharp application talking to the I2C bus, um, which is in turn um, controlling both the ADC um, analog, analog to digital converter on the I2C bus and the the proximity sensor, which is on is directly talking to the I2C bus. There's no conversions going on there at all. So as you can see, I'm getting some live readings. Um, the proximity sensor also does ambient light. Um, so in bright sunlight, that figures normally about 800. Um, when it starts getting to around about dusk, it drops down to what you're seeing now, about 130, 140, something like that. Um, and as you can see, I'm getting some raw values. I haven't bothered doing the distance conversion yet. Get some raw values, um, which is basically a voltage reading um, scaled uh, with the gain, um, the gain amplifier on the analog uh, analog converter. So, yeah, there's an analog signal. If I move, uh, where are we? If I move the object that we're looking at further away, um, actually five and a half centimeters, which it is now, is kind of like the maximum voltage that we get so if I move it a bit closer it should drop down from 19,000 down and it has it's dropped to about 17,000 if I move it to um, maybe I don't know about six it should be close to 19,000 again and it's just over 19,000 that's great and I don't know I just move it to I don't know about 25 centimeters something like that and the figure drops down again to 6,000 but that's more predictable um, we've got the proximity sensor um, I'll just put that here for now not very accurately placing this one here for now um, so it's just loosely sat at the zero centimeter mark and I need an object so I'll use the same object um, if I put that at about two centimeters, we're getting on the screen um, a 
rough conversion to 20 millimeters, which is pretty much what I set it to. Um, if I move it to uh, maybe 15, about 15, there's about 15. Look on the screen, uh, yeah, 14 and a half millimeters. As you can see, the, the sensor's not square on, so maybe it could be slightly less than 15, who knows. And then move it closer to about one. So that's about one centimeter. And on the screen, we've got 9.1 millimeters. Brilliant. Um, so yeah. So going back to the, the analog sensor, um, I found um, online um, a few resources and um, this is basically the shape of the graph that you get. Um, as you can see, it's got a nasty kind of peak and then a drop. Um, so I said it gets a little bit dodgy at uh, closer distances and that's why. Um, on my particular sensor, five centimeters onwards, then the the curve is a predictable gradient down. Um, it's easy to work out the the range, the distance to the object uh, once you're on the downward part of the curve. Um, so that's what uh, curves you get if you search for the sensor online, and that's the the curve I got when I plotted the points. Um, as you can see it's a pretty similar shape so I'm quite happy with that um, I've got the source code that I'm using to interrogate the two sensors I've got those on on github and I will share that with you now if you're interested in hooking up these kind of sensors to your own projects thanks for watching bye